so you were saying to me about in school, uh huh. So in school, the school I school in Hyrax Primary School in Akuru. Okay. Now Hyrax Primary School had like eight hundred kids, eight hundred kids, seven hundred kikuyus. Um, How do you even have those statistics? I do. Uh, <laughs> as in later, I went to the school to find out. Okay. So it was cosmopolitan, but there was a lot of uh, Kikuyu uh, population yeah. then. But the funny thing is that uh, any other tribe, we it was like a cosmopolitan. Mm. So the kids, you know, at young age, mm -hmm. when you're in class two, three, four, yeah. they are very brutal and very real. Real in the sense that they will just plan to beat me up. My so, God, why? so just like that, you know, kids just decide we don't like this one, let's beat him and they beat. Okay. So I used to be I used to be at the brunt of that a lot. So I used to hear the word neto kahure. Neto kahure, for those who don't understand, it means let's beat him up. The next second the blows that will rain on on me. So now I learned. Oh Remember Makale? I yeah. can run like crazy. We all run. I think we are born <laughs> racist. We all run. Mother ran. Uncle ran. So we are all racist. Uh -huh. So I, I, I reached a point where before they say ne toka hore, before they say <laughs> ne toka, <laughs> I have vanished. <laughs> then I realized this is not working. The best way with these guys is, uh -huh. to, is to work with them. So I started learning the language at class three. Uh -huh. By class four, I was more fluent than some of them. What are you saying? To date. And so when uh, KBC was launching a station called Shoro FM, yes. I went and emceed in Kikuyu. Nicely. It's, I've emceed weddings in Kikuyu. And, and people don't ask you which part of Kikuyu land you come me. from. They, they doubt. They say, no, you can't be a you Kale. You can't be a Kale. Kikuyu. But for anybody who grew up in Akuru. Yes. They know their mother tongue and another mother tongue, and Swahili and English. Is it? For, yeah, everybody that grew up in Akuru, because Najo Nakuru guys came. Uh huh, so yes. Guys from Western. Yes. Even guys from Nairobi. It's like Nairobi. Yeah, guys from Baringo area, Kericho. Yeah. Nyanza, Kitale, so they came. Yeah. Yeah, so, so then you grew up like that. Hmm. So I used to even speak a bit of Luo. I could, even now when I go to Kisumu, within two days when we are doing our events, I'll start speaking a bit. That's uh, amazing. Yeah, I'm good in languages anyway, but it's an Akuru How trait. has that helped you, um, al, you know, throughout your life, just being multilingual? I'm, I'm happy you're asking that. Um, the biggest barrier in any business is communication. So if you go to mm. Japan and you're able to speak Japanese, the Japanese will be more... Uh, agreeable to you yes. and they might throw you out because you can't speak the language True. and give me the business. True. So I have done a lot of business across the country because I can easily switch. Hmm. And not only switch in terms of tribe but switch in terms of dialect. So if I go to Tanzania where we've had events, uh -huh. in two days I'll be speaking the Tanzanian Swahili. Wow. Because immediately Tanzanians realize you're a Kenyan they will block you. But now when I'm working with them and I speak their Swahili, mm. Mm. one mm. and he accept, ah, kaka brother, uko vipi, ah, eh? niko, niko poa. Naomba ni kusalimi. Naomba ni kusalimi. <laughs> ah, uyu ni Sister Du. Sister Du is... What's Sister Du? Sister Du is uh, a slay queen. <laughs> it has a Swahili name. <laughs> yeah, it has a Swahili name. My goodness. So I go and learn those dialects. I sit with them in two days in a skis and then how they pronounce their words, I pronounce the same. The third day... You're one of them. I, I, in fact, I wear a Tanzanian uh, T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, because you, you will be blocked. You, you will be blocked. I went to Zambia, same story. They have their own... Okay, Zambia is very interesting. Right. You think you're in Western Kenya. Those guys look like lawyers. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Until they speak. Okay, do they like chicken as much as well? They eat. No. They, they, they are very... The food is... I think... Sorry? Kenya, uh -huh. Zambian booze food beats us. No. Yes.